Welcome to the Old Boar Plays City Skylines. This is a tutorial series all about Railway 2 train networks. I'm putting in functioning railway infrastructure. And in this video, I'll be giving you a guide on random train trailers. It's a mod that allows you to change the trailers on your engines. Subscribe to it on the Steam Workshop, enable it, and you'll see this icon appear in your menu, Random Train Trailers Manager. When you open up the window for the first time, you'll see something here the mod creator added and you'll have to subscribe to that particular asset in order to use it. So I've deleted it out the train consist is just a list of your engines that you want to add different trailers to. So in order to have something here we'll add new you'll see this window up here. This is passenger trains, which you can also edit, but be sure to put passenger train cars on the passenger trains. You also have the options for metro and tram, but in this video, I want to choose cargo trains. You'll see that I have four engines here. This is our vanilla engine that comes with the game. This is the container train one, which you see in view here. This is the LTE 6400 CIM, which comes with the docks that I installed in a previous video. It's a switcher or shunter whichever part of the world you live in. And this is the engine that comes with a pack that I've downloaded called FCC Mixed 1. So we'll start with Container Train 1 first. We'll select it. Two other windows open up. Now we have this engine in our train consist. The first setting is the probability that this will spawn in the game. You can drop this down to 90 or 80 if you don't want to see that particular engine show up as often. The start offset and end offset are for double engines which I'll show you in a little while. The override trailer count will allow you to change the amount of cars or trailers that come behind the engine. This particular train comes stock with 10 cars. These are all different cars as you can see and they come in this order every time this train spawns. Previously, I had container train 1, 2, 3, and 5 installed, and they just randomized the order behind each one of those trains. Now I can customize this. If I want to use the default trailers as well, this train will spawn on occasion. If I want to change the trailer according to what kind of cargo it has, I'll select this. For example, if this is a tank car, it's transporting liquid, such as petroleum, oil, milk, etc. So in this case, I want to show this engine only with 
the trailers that I'm going to add. And now we need to go to Edit Collections. This opens up another window, which you'll see some things here that the mod creator has put in. I didn't subscribe to those, so I deleted it out as well. It's an example for you when you're getting started. So I want to add new. And here is where I can change the name of this collection. The American Freight Train Generic Freight Car Pack comes with auto racks, box cars, refrigerator cars, etc. So I'll put box cars. Hit enter, and you'll see that I have a new collection, box cars. I want to add trailers now. This icon shows the previously selected train. So you have to move in and out of it to begin to see these icons appear. This is the cargo trailer that comes with the vanilla game. And these are the hoppers that come with the American Freight Train Generic Freight Car Pack. So in the search, I'll type boxcar. And you'll see that I have a list of boxcars here. This is the yellow boxcar, EFX, a green boxcar. There are different ones here. So in my collection, I'm going to choose the green one first. And I'll add another trailer, the red one, and another. This is my list of box cars that I have in this collection. Add Multi allows you to add two or three or more cars that is treated as a slot in your collection. I left the first one, the yellow box car, out of this collection to show you the multi function. But at the very bottom of this list, you'll see this is a new multi trailer. I want to edit this. I'm going to call this yellow box car. I'm going to add another trailer, the same yellow box car, and another one. These are three cars that will come into your 10 car train, but it's treated as one selection. So randomly, you'll see these three yellow box cars come into your train, but they'll take up three slots of your 10 slots. The invert here, I'm not finding documentation on. You can also move these up and down if they are different. Now we have the yellow box car multi-trailer inside of this collection. Now for container train one, we want to add a collection. We have box cars. This collection was added by the creator and you can also use this. This is mixed cargo. It's a default collection that comes with the subscriptions to those. I want to select box cars. OK, 
Container Train 1 will spawn with this boxcar collection. You can change the weight. 10 is the default. If you want it to appear more, you'll put a 20 or a 30 or a 40 there. So let's add another collection. We want to add new. And we'll call this refrigerator cars. Once you hit enter, box cars appears again but Refrigerator Cars is in your menu, so we want to select it and add trailers to it. So we'll change the search to Refrigerator. And you'll see we have four here. Moving in and out changes the icon. So we'll select the first one. can also change the weight here, which is the probability that these will come into your collection. But you could put 20 or 30. You look at this one, this is the BFC. I believe it has an orange on the outside. And we'll change the weight of the BFC to 30. Hit enter. Now we have a new collection. So we'll add a collection to container train one. We'll take this out of the search. And you'll see some other things come in here. This is what the mod creator has put inside of his collection set. You would need to subscribe to all of those to be able to use this. European Union closed goods wagons. I don't have those assets installed, but I do see at the top my refrigerator cars collection. I'm going to add it as well. We'll add a new one. We'll call this tank cars. We'll need to select it from the menu and we'll add some trailers putting tank in the search shows you the four cars that are available to you so I'll add the first one the second one and so on And now we'll add the collection to our engine. Because this is already searched out, we can just select tank cars. And now we have three collections that will spawn with this train. In order for these to spawn, you'll need to save and load, and then close your window. And we'll unpause the game. The trains that are already spawned are going to come out. And we might see our FCC Mixed 1, which is a 50 car train. Subscribing to those trains on the workshop, they'll automatically spawn in your game unless you tell Random Train Trailers Manager to change those. Here's our container train one with the tank cars and it's put in this train 10 cars carrying some kind of liquid.
Three cargo ships are coming in, so we should see some trains. This is our vanilla train carrying regular cargo. This is the vanilla train's trailer for wood. At this point, I might want to use advanced vehicle options and take this train out of the game. So in this drop down menu, I want to select cargo train. In this particular freight train, we don't want it to spawn in the game. And you'll see that the trailers don't spawn as well. This is the FCC Mix 1 50 car train that I've subscribed to on the workshop. You'll notice it's using the same box cars and the same tankers that come with the pack American Freight Train Generic Freight Car Pack. Those are in our pool of trailers that we can use in the game. So in order for these long trains to not spawn in my game, I'm going to change that with random train trailers. In our train consist, we're going to add a new one. I'm going to take this out of the search. This engine is the FCC mixed engine. We want to select it so that we can tell our random train trailers manager not to bring in those 50 cars. 50 cars will clog up your railway quickly. Here's where we'll use the start offset and the end offset. Because this is a double engine train, this particular train engine is also a trailer and you might see it spawn inside your train. The pre-configured pack that I've subscribed to, FCC Mixed 1, will not put this inside the train. But now that we're going to modify this, we need to put the start offset at 1. This saves this slot for an engine. A regular trailer will not spawn here. We're going to need to add this particular engine to the blacklist in order for it not to spawn somewhere else in the train. So we want to add an item to the blacklist. You'll see here, we have all of these available to us for the blacklist for this particular train. I'm just going to type FCC in the search. But we have this black engine and these others that come out. These come out, they are pre-configured inside of this train but I want the black engine to not appear in the train and I want it to appear in the first spot there's other trains you can subscribe to on the workshop you'll need to blacklist one of these to put it into the first slot if you have really long trains with two engines on either side that's where you would use the offset on the end of the train, back to the left. Respectively, if you had four engines on the first of your train, 
you would need to put the start offset as three. This is the first slot, number one, two, and three. Changing this to three for a four engine train will assure that your regular trailers are not coming in in these first three slots. So for this train, we can use the default trailers as well, or we can add collections. Box cars, refrigerator cars, and tank cars. This particular train is pre-configured to hold 50 cars. We only want it to hold 10. So this is where we're going to override the trailer count. And if you put 10 in the first slot, you'll see that the max trailer count is also 10. Now we want to save and load you'll see that FCC Mixed is blacklisting this train to hold it for the first slot. And we'll tell this train to only bring in 10 cars from the collections we choose. We won't see this long train again, but this is what they look like. You can see that all of our different cars that are in the pool are showing up in this train. Lumber, tanker cars, box cars, hoppers, These cars are empty, and to be able to use them where they're truly empty, I've installed a mod called Trailer Variation Loader. It will actually show the cars being full or empty. For example, this car here will be shown as empty if there's no cargo in it. Here's our container train one that has box cars. It's selecting out of the available collections, the box car collection. And in the box car collection, you'll remember that we have a multi trailer with three yellow box cars in order. One more 50 car train spawned during this session. If you have a rail network that can handle those, you're going to be making your network more efficient, keeping all of that truck traffic off of your highways in your cities. This is the CIM. 6400 and it's being spawned as normal so we'll change it as well we'll select the LTE CIM and we'll add cargo changes trailers and we'll add some collections to it 
box cars, refrigerator cars, and tank cars. Save and load. Now our light blue switcher will be bringing in those particular collections. This is our 10 car FCC mixed. This engine is coming in on the back end. This is the FCC mixed. It's bringing in box cars. We didn't get the multi trailer in this random selection. These are the refrigerator cars. We've added weight to the one with the orange on the side, and it's coming in more frequently on the train. Because this is a double engine train, I might add 20 cars to it. This particular train, you can see that the orange has filled up almost half of the train. Here we see our 20 car train. Lots of truck traffic we're saving from going through our cities. I also suggest that if you install trains, you should test your game, saving the game with a different name, and make sure that those are not going to cause problems. Some of the trains have really high resolution, and they do very sophisticated things. Some of them even use extra vehicle effects, which you can install. That's a mod that allows the trains to have sounds and other things. You can also go very deep with this mod and actually configure the XML file to do all sorts of things. This is our 20 car train bringing in refrigerator cars. Here's our LTE CIM bringing in boxcars. And we see two multi trailer selections. Thank you for watching The Old Boar Plays City Skylines. Take care now.